Hi guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit and welcome to another installment of my high heel collection. Today I am featuring a few of my Laboutins and perhaps higher end shoes. I do have others, but I did feature Laboutin as well as, well, you'll see. <laughs> So I am doing a short series of my high heel collection. If you have not been following me up to this point, I am using this time to rest my jaw. I am making more content little by little, but I don't have the capacity to talk a lot. And so for the time being, I am just doing my high heel collection at the end and trying to keep my talking to a minimum, which you know is hard for me. So as we progress through the series, it will finally in the end just be a collection of all of my high heels and that will be kind of a revisit from a prior series that I had done a few years ago and this is an update. I was thinking about the whole idea of Laboutin, the high end, the kind of luxuries of life, right? And I've said this before that this could all go away and I would be perfectly fine. This is a beautiful part of life, but it isn't life. And a lot of times I think people uh, get hyper-focused or maybe they just take a dip into my channel and they don't really see the whole picture. What I have noticed for myself is that when I am enthusiastic about my purpose and I have a, a kind of a, an abundance of energy that is just pushing out of me as far as what I love to do messages, talking about my faith, talking about loving people, talking about bettering our lives, hope, everything like that, I feel extremely happy. I was thinking about the content of this message and it's funny because I receive emails from James Clear who wrote the book Atomic Habits. It's a you know, a, a mass email, but I thought, I think what I want to use is going to be in this email. And I opened it and sure enough, he quoted, and I will probably misquote this. So take this, you know, not exactly word for word, but Charles Kingsley, a priest and novelist had said that we act as if what life is all about is luxury and comfort when what we really need to be happy is something to be enthusiastic about. And I thought that is so true to what I have found for my own life. The gorgeous things, the, those things are gifts of love that I receive and I'm grateful for. But this does not constitute life or happiness to me. This is, is, you know, again, kind of a frame around a picture. But to be enthusiastic about purpose and what you're here for, that's a whole nother level. And I don't know what you need to hear for today, but it doesn't matter if you don't have a lot. Sometimes I sit in front of this and it looks like she has a lot. And I do. I mean, I do have, I'm very blessed. But I don't want this to be misleading in making it seem like this is what you have to achieve in order to get happiness or some version of this, whether that's cars or houses or whatever. And some of you know, my dear husband has been driving the car that, I bought when I first started my career, he took it over when we started having kids and we got another car that was easier for managing kids. 
and he has been driving that car ever since. And it no longer has air conditioning. It no longer has a handle for the driver's door, like you have to pull from the hinge. <laughs> and we could buy a new car and I'm always telling him, let's get you, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. He is not hyper, you know, men, men oftentimes have more of the car as their, you know, the carrot at the end for them. And he's been able to find his joy and happiness in his purpose, his enthusiasm and his purpose, rather than in, you know, more of the superficial. And I think that we all have that point in our lives where we either do get some of the beautiful things and realize that that is not what happiness is all about, or we don't get it and we think that's what's going to take, that's going to take for me to be happy. Just like people that want to lose weight think that they'll finally be happy when they're the ideal weight. And then the few people that do actually get there realize that's not happiness. So we all kind of maybe come at it from a different angle and some people never get there. But I do hope that you will think about that because it would be kind of a pity or a shame to run your whole life thinking that this is what's going to make you happy when your happiness was right there available for you today. And we all need to be reminded of that because it's easy in this world to think that our goal is to get money, certain relationships, certain things, whatever the case is, um, and realize that that isn't actually what we should have been aiming for all along. And we have it in our grasp right now. Being enthusiastic about what you are able to give to other people, what brings you true joy. And I think that we all need to remember that. It's something that we all have the tendency to uh, get sidetracked from. However, you once you realize it, it's very easy to recognize really quickly quickly when you're kind of going off track. So that is my prayer. Father God, I pray that we would find our enthusiasm and joy for life today and not waiting for some magical moment in the future for some certain thing that we think we have to have. Help us to find that happiness and joy in our purpose, the things that we are able to give to the world Thank you for those of the people that you brought here that have a special divine purpose that you have made them for. Please help them to tap into that and make use of that every day. We do not want those gifts to go unused. And I pray that you would just reveal that to each and every one in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, so we'll do some runway in some of my heels.